We are here to do your channel messages and what I see for your star sign in each month. Now, if you do like this content, remember to click the bell. And also we do have a brand new edition, which is the Romance Zone. So stay tuned for that. I will be bringing those channel messages with the Tarot live by mid months. So if you do wish this content ahead of the game, you can join a YouTube membership where I pre-release these a week ahead. Take care and let's have a look at what I see for your zodiac sign this month. Welcome back. Yes, as mentioned, we do have these released pre prior. Let's get the tongue working properly. We do have these released both on our podcast, um, one week ahead of opening to the public and also here at YouTube. Um, if you do need a booking, you can go to the link directly below or find all my information at yildersreadings.com. Without further ado, let's have a look at your star sign and what I psychically see coming for you, beautiful Leos. Now, okay, talk about take the pressure down. I do feel from an intuitive point of view, a lot of you can be dealing with very, very changing circumstances. Um, this can be a very positive year for you, even though we are addressing January 2023. I do particularly feel there could be some major subjects really popping off this month, and I'm going to briefly go over them, and then we're going to go into love. Uh, one area of, well, one particular area is family and home. This can be physically needing to address a family-related dynamic, which we will get into further. The other can be career. Um, those beautiful New Year's resolutions relating to getting your fitness back on track and getting that, um, you know, that deeper back on track. And the other can be, oh, uh, yeah, career sector as well as friendships, changes happening around friendships and also wealth. So let's have a look at love. Oh, okay. This, this can, I'm just going to warn you, um, I do particularly feel there could be some changes happening with those of you that have kids. There also could be fertility here as a possibility. But I do feel crosswise around these individuals and romance is a possibility. I, I do feel some of you are fed up of doing things for everyone and you feel that you have got a lot on your plate. I do feel those of you that did move, although it might have come right in the nick of time, you feel you need to recover. You still feel you need to address a lot of things. For some reason, I do feel some of you are going to need repairs. But I also feel, um, especially around romance at this point in time, this can be a brand new chapter you're moving into. So, I, And I do feel it's going to happen quite suddenly. Um, it's almost like you've decided to turn left, but then it, it does a 180 and it actually goes down a completely different route. Something's changing quite radically, and I do feel this is very positive. I'm very excited for you. I also feel where it does come to love and romance, like you're wanting, you know, you're not wanting risky business. You're wanting, um, you're being selective of what you share. You're being selective of um, what your benchmark is and what you're investing in. I do feel this is in various areas of life. I'm hearing the term level up or ship out. Wow. <laughs> uh. I do feel try and ease into this month. There can be some tension points. I do feel as though there could be issues in groups. Now, where can this be coming from? I do feel there may have been some interferences with friends, and I think that's really concerning you. I think some of you have a little bit of PTSD surrounding your friendship groups. Um, beautiful Leos, you know, you guys are like the lioness or lion of society, right? And, I mean, your mane is adorable. You are glorious. Um, you are a little bit like cancer. You're, you're so tender inside. But on the external, everyone thinks you've totally got it together. And I think sometimes what they don't understand is you do have that yin and yang. You've got that marshmallow centre with that 
poker face going, yeah, I, I've got this, so I'm going to conquer the world. And I feel from an emotional point of view, um, so, you know, where you need to be, you have really asserted yourself in particular domains, especially um, in authority, in an authoritarian way, so to speak. But I would say with particular individuals, you may need to be careful. I do, I do feel some of you are going to have some really great changes happening this month. Um, some of you are going to look back, and I, I really do feel this. I feel you're actually looking back over your shoulder going, how the heck did I get out of Dodge? And I think it was because you squeezed some of the things that you were supposed to address in in such a get condensed space of time. This also could be something that you're faced with addressing in January. I do feel your ideals of what you think love is. Um, you know, that it's the more romanticised, the the best version, the highest octane. I feel you've had a real reality check. And um, I do particularly feel this year you're going to be able to achieve balance inside of your love life, be it your single or couple. I, okay. I also feel um, the key to this, and I do feel this is coming up as a channeled message quite largely, taking on different ways of letting. Um, we always have a yin to the yang. So we have the masculine element of ourselves and we have the feminine polarity, and all of us have that inside. But we can't have two heads budding, right? We can't have two mass. Um, true authority energies bumping heads. And I don't think it's anything to do with authority. I, I feel it's like a dance. I feel it's like two swans dancing in a spiritual connection. Um, what I do see is there, there may be a circumstance where you've had to do all the leading or you've had to do work or you've felt that particularly. And I feel on this occasion there is a little bit of anxiousness where you're like, okay, do I jump in the deep end? Do I initiate? Do I suggest? And I feel sometimes we can speak from our point of view, but what I am seeing is you're taking a different approach on and my guides are showing me a different approach is what will win the race. I do feel somebody's coming in to apologise and I do feel they are very grateful for the, for the work that you put in, for what you do. I also feel for some of you that have a loved one on the other side, they're making, and I feel this is a male energy. This could be a grandmother or a, but I, my first vision was a male. Um, they're making reference to this person being extremely proud of you and actually being around you at this point in time. I do see some of you relating to career could be on the fence and you're like, do I stay, do I go? I think it's going to make more sense and you can make any firm judgment by mid-month. But if you really, 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 really don't like it, now may be the time to do that. So you can, you know, really use that as a guide moving forward to cement your foundation. But I do feel foundational issues coming up. I do feel some of you are going to be offered a promotion and there could be a little bit of anxiety and I also feel the direct environment you're working in. There could be a little bit of conflict, but I feel it bodes better as we proceed through the month and some clarity can come up surrounding that, especially relating to contracts. I do feel a possible avoid conflict because I do actually see this ironing out. I'm also being shown don't be reactive because I also think this could go quite pear-shaped. Um, some of you that are having issues with the sibling, um, you could be taking on a more playful approach, but, you know, it's like you want something to kind of go the distance, get better. But there could be some conflicts around your siblings, but I do feel you're shifting your energy totally onto your own path at this point in time. Somebody could also be in your back corner. And I do particularly feel surrounding your wellness, you're really wanting to get fit. Uh, this is like being organised, being structured, changing your diet. Some of you also are going to have, it's like you're planning a vacation. It's like, right, I want to get that hot body. I want to I want to be able to, you know, have that holiday and have more play and join a gym. I 
They're also making reference to not allow your past to define your future, especially if you're faced with a major decision. I feel it's quite a positive decision. I don't feel it's negative. Um, you can be questioning, is it going to be okay? There could be a little bit of fear. I do feel for some of you there's a potential of an engagement. However, they're not making reference to when that's going to be. Any last messages for beautiful Leo? <sighs> We do have a bit of a break moving in. I would say for the first two weeks, go easy. Things can be tense. You can be a little bit accident prone. Be cautious of the food you're eating. Um, and I don't feel that's from a diet point of view. I feel it's from a, um, a wellness point of view. Check the use by dates. Be cautious. Some of you are going to crave more heavy food, I would say, in the first two to three weeks. I feel you're going to get into some harmony by mid-month, but I do feel the last, oh, even close to three days towards the end of the month moving into February, um, we can go on eating binges and crave candy and salt and soda and pacifiers. So I would say if you can, mark those dates on your calendar and be ready. Otherwise, I will see you throughout the month. Hope to see you for your romance spree. Take care, beautifuls, and I wish you the very best. Thank you.